he did it again. Gary Johnson had another Aleppo moment. Now, now Gary actually, Johnson calls it an Aleppo moment. Other people call it a waste of broadcasting time. But continue. It, well, anything that Chris Matthews is involved in is a waste of broadcasting time. Fair <laughs> point. Touche. Yeah. So this was at an MSNBC town hall hosted by, of course, our favorite Chris Matthews, uh, who gets a nice little tingle up his leg every time he talks about Hillary Clinton. Um, anyway, <laughs> this town hall had a question uh, about... Hey, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite world leader? Here's Gary Johnson answering that question. Who's your favorite foreign leader? Who's my favorite? Any, just name anywhere in the country, any one of the continents, any country. Name one foreign leader that you respect and look up to. Anybody? My name is Shimon Peres. No, no, okay, I'm talking about living. Go ahead. <laughs> you got to do this anywhere, any continent. Canada, Mexico, Europe, over there, uh, Asia, South America, Africa, name a foreign leader that you respect. I guess I'm having an Aleppo moment in the former, former president of Mexico. But I'm giving Mexico. you the whole world. I know, I know. I know Anybody I know. in the world you like. Anybody. Pick any leader. The former president now, of Mexico. Which one? I'm, I'm having a brain. I'm well, having a brain. Well, name anybody. Fox. Zadiox. Okay, who's your Thank favorite you. foreign Thank leader? You. Get him off the hook. Name a foreign Fox. leader you respect. He was, he was terrific. Any foreign leader? Uh, Merkel. Okay, Merkel. Okay, fine. Save yourself. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Just name anybody. Name anybody. Come on, man. No, can't do it. Aleppo moment. Gary, how many times we got to tell you, don't smoke a bowl before a town hall? Okay. Well, in fairness to him, I mean, that's got to be hard for him to name a foreign leader that he likes because Ayn Rand never led anything. So, good point. Doesn't have his go to. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like, look, I gave him, I like, I defended him when he made his Aleppo gaffe because I'm like, okay, running for president's kind of hard. Okay. And you're not going to know everything, although you should be required to at least know some things. Not being able to answer anything. Oof. Look. Well, and now, one thing I will say about this, and, and this isn't a defense of Gary Johnson, because I, 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 I've heard Gary Johnson speak before, um, and I was very unimpressed. Uh, the way they get you in, and, and when I say, I mean, I, I guess I'm kind of generalizing libertarians here, which, which I apologize for that, but, uh, you know, he'll start talking about social issues, because this was at Politicon, so he knew it was a pretty progressive bunch. He started talking about social issues. Uh, where he knows he has a lot of common ground. Then he starts talking about his plans uh, for the economy and for, you know, like roads, bridges. Who needs them? Who needs them? The market will regulate it. Uh, health, uh, the way he was describing his solution for health care, I mean, I wasn't embellishing. He was talking about having, like, basically toy stores, except you would get organs that you need. It was borderline insane, what this guy was talking about, where if we were all widgets, it would work, but we're people. Um, and, and, and he honestly thinks he has a chance at winning this thing. He really does. I've heard Jill Stein speak, too. Jill Stein knows she's not going to win. Jill Stein understands the movement that she is a part of. Jill Stein wants to see the Green Party frame this progressive identity and be a true progressive option in this country. And she wants to do her part to help it get to that point. And she sees the Bernie momentum as an opportunity. Gary Johnson actually thinks he has a chance at winning this thing. The biggest difference, when Gary Johnson talks about the debates, he calls for three chairs on the podium. Jill Stein calls for four because she, she knows she's not going to win. She wants to see the two-party system become a thing of the past. She has a realistic vision of what change is and how it works. Gary Johnson does not. And now, because of his little Aleppo moment, uh, the corporate media is doing nothing more than trying to get him into gotcha moments because they know it's good for their uh, advertising. They know it's good for clickbait. They know it's going to go viral on the Internet. And that's all he's good for. So he has successfully become just a meme. And that's oh, yeah. kind of all that guy deserves. You know, it's funny. Uh, speaking of the gotcha moments, right? This reminded me a little bit of another candidate um, that ran in 2012. I want to show you this video that it, it, I just got reminded of. 
And when they ask me who's the president of you, Becky, 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 Stan, Stan, I'm going to say, you know, I don't know. Do you know? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Do you know, Jeff? I'm not sure. I don't. It's a gotcha question. Mm. It's a gotcha question. It's gotcha journal. It's on them. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent, non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYT Nation.